from the Oak Wall Studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello, this is Jesse Oakley III, and welcome to the Oak Zone, where we provide positive words of wisdom for the happy people. Now, from Monday through Fridays, I usually give words of wisdom for the happy people on my show, The Oak Zone. But today is Sunday morning, and it is time for the Sunday morning chat series, where I get a chance to interview a plethora of happy people that are making a big difference within their communities. Whether they are speakers, authors, yoga instructors, blood donation, and volunteer work, if they're making a big difference in their community, you will hear from them. And today's episode, we got a darn good episode. There are so many people that have a fear of public speaking. They would rather be in the casket than actually give the eulogy because the number one fear for many people is public speaking. And number two fear is death. Think about it, public speaking first, then death, yikes. Well, it takes a lot of courage and a lot of skill and lots of good talent to actually be a professional speaker. And that is who I have on my show for this morning's meeting. Please help me welcome professional speaker, Mr. Mark Guy. Mark, how's it going? Great, Jesse. Good to be here chatting with you on Sunday morning with the happy people. Yes, yes. All right. And without further delay, let's chat. Let's do it. All right. Now, first question I have for you is, how did you get your start in public speaking? That's a great question. Perhaps uh, it's part destiny. Perhaps it's the circumstances of life. I would clearly identify two major events or choices that I have made that have led me where I am now. Number one, I served as a youth pastor at a church in congregation in downtown Orlando. Mm. And one of the requirements or part of your uh, social contract to be a youth pastor is that you have to travel to conferences throughout the state, throughout the city, and speak in public on behalf of your congregation. Or you also have, I also gave a lot of training talks, sermons, educational programs to the church uh, members, always in front, always on stage. And there was an interesting thing. Somebody came up to me afterwards, and this is the moment I will never forget. They, they looked me in the eye and said, Mark, you have a gift. And I thought, what gift? Like, you, do, we have a, do I owe you a gift? Are you going to give me a gift? What is going on? And she said, no, no, you have a gift of communication. And of course, just because you have a gift doesn't mean that you don't work on it. Mm -hmm. So I started working on it. I joined Toastmasters, Toastmasters International. I love Toastmasters International. It's a, one of the greatest, I think, nonprofit, experiential, accelerated laboratories that you can join at a very reasonable cost, no matter where you are in the world. And depending on your level of commitment, dedication, and your study habits, you can accelerate. I was fortunate enough to participate in the largest speech contest in the world. And that year was 2015. And I was fortunate enough to pass through club level, area, division, district. And my district sent me as representative to the World Championship of Public Speaking. Mm. And that process that accelerated learning laboratory have pushed me even further to become someone who gets paid as a professional speaker. So I get paid based on the quality of the words that come out of my mouth. Wow, that is truly fantastic. And it is always about the journey. And then when you focus on the journey, then you'll have not only amazing memories about the journey, but also you can inspire other people as well in the same process too. Uh, Jesse, I got to tell you, I'm so, so grateful that I was able to participate, participate at such a high level. And I created a special, and I love Toastmaster because it's a system. You don't have to think about it. There will be, there will be a contest whether you want it or not on this date. So it's up to you to prepare and there will be a contest at the next level and the next level. So you don't have to mad you know, dash on your calendar, think, okay, I got to practice. Of course you do, but there is a structure. There is a program. There is a, it's like a machine, right? It's not perfect, yeah. but yeah. it is like a educational machine that 
you can become part of based on your learning style, on your personality style, and get plugged in. So what I'm saying is whatever system works for you, you have to find it. So I'm so grateful for that. that and is- the other part, yeah, the, the, other, the other part that I joined Toastmasters is, is that about 10 years ago, I had a pivotal moment in my life. Uh, I was going through a major breakup. Uh, I was homeless, believe it or not, I lost my house, my business, and it was a deep, deep abyss, deep, deep, um, you know, fall in my life. And then it took me a couple years to recover, two, three years of deep, deep understanding and exploration. Mm -hmm. And I think joining Toastmasters, becoming a youth leader was was a divine intervention. It was a way for me to prove to myself that I still have some value to offer. And I found that outlet in the, in the being a youth leader and then Toastmasters to serve, to really see that I still have some gas in the tank and hopefully, hopefully become a better communicator and a better leader through the program and the system that is in place. All right. That is truly, a, that is truly phenomenal because where you came from to where you are right now, it goes to show everybody, including the happy people, that anything is possible. Absolutely. The next question I have for you is, it may have answered part of it already, but how long have you been doing your professional speaking career? Well, professionally, uh, as in getting paid for, for the act of speaking or communicating on stage, uh, I would say about six years, about six, hmm. six years full time. And that, like I said, it all started from the being a youth pastor. I no longer serve in that capacity, but I was still speaking. And then Toastmasters have really catapulted me. It opened up for the contest. One of the things I decided to do is I needed to speak outside of Toastmasters as often as I could, because it would give me mental agility and fluidity and also muscle memory so I can face any audience anywhere and communicate with precision and purpose. So that experience speaking outside of Toastmasters have helped me gain a reputation as a speaker who delivers a lot of value, a lot of, you know, every time we take a stage, I feel this is based on the mentors that I have is we have a gift to offer to our audience. So I was giving, 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 and that built my reputation locally here in the state. And I get hired now to speak from someone who have heard me speak five, six, seven years ago, three years ago. They're now in a position to hire me or recommend me to the selection committee as a featured keynote speaker for their upcoming event. Wow. That is, that's that's beyond dynamic, man. That is truly dynamic to get you start six years ago to where you are right now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, unbelievable. Next question I have for you is, what were your challenges or what challenges have you faced as a professional speaker? Whew, there's challenges still now. <laughs> there's, you know, finding out what problem do you solve by the act of speaking in front of your target audience. It takes time to, I think, compound and accumulate and also distill the expertise that you can deliver in 50 minutes, 45 minutes, or maybe an hour or two, maybe training situation that will provide enough value that will satisfy your economic buyer, the one who pays your check, and then also a different segment, which is actual people who are sitting in the audience. So there's two, economic buyer, and then there's audience. So the challenge is to make sure that whatever your message is, you own your message. That whoever is meeting planners before the health crisis and probably still now have one of the most stressful jobs in the world. They have to, when they recommend or source or hire a speaker before, are the speaker, is she going to show up? Is he going to show up? Are they going to offend my audience? Are they going to understand the problem of my audience? Are they just fly by night? Do they even know what they're talking about? Or is this even relevant? So for meeting planner, it's very anxiety-driven profession. 
So they have to know exactly who you are um, or at least know your message. And then you can deliver in an entertaining, uh, professional, profound way. So I think the challenge for the speakers is to be so clear on your message that you can market it and you can present it in a way that people such as meeting planners know exactly what you're about. They don't have to guess. They have to be clear. That is a challenge. It's ongoing for me. And it's also ongoing for many aspiring and professional speakers. Once you get clear on your message, then it's your time. You have to constantly, constantly make sure that it's not a, you know, yes, you can change it just here and now, but you got to make sure that your message is on point, relevant to your audience, and mm -hmm. you have to continuously, I would say, maintain it, right? Continuously maintain it. And um, one of the best things we have as professional communicators and speakers, our marketing is how we perform on stage. Um, did we completely fail? <laughs> did we reach our objectives? So our best marketing is how well we deliver a message. So if you continuously invest in your craft, you will have um, the pipeline of leads in your future. All right. That was phenomenal. Unbelievably phenomenal. Next question I have for you is, what were some of the opportunities that you experienced in being a professional speaker? Opportunities, like what do you mean? Well, the opportunities, like the, the good points, the rewarding points, or a story where you had during your professional speaking career that you had something amazing happen to you. I feel something amazing happens every day. Um, it's how we see it, right? You know, yeah. recently I had a birthday and I know you had a birthday too, right? Or yeah. something. Happy birthday. Thank you. And, uh, you know, on, the, on your birthday, sometimes, hopefully, right, you feel good, right? You sing, you sing outside, and, you know, there's, like, animated characters, you know, <laughs> flying around, and you have, like, dancing, and in good mood. What if you can feel like this, not every day, but every other day? Mm. You know, what, what if? What if, if you can make decisions, change your mindset, Find little gems of beautiful, beautiful rewards and gratitude everywhere throughout your day. Yes. And I feel that doing what you love, speaking, focusing on your strength. So getting in front of people on stage, I feel it what energizes me. It is such an unbelievable rocket fueled propellant endorphins release that it's very difficult to describe for anyone who is not on stage. So when you focus on your strength and just focus on speaking, of course, you have to maintain other parts of your business to be successful, but the act of speaking and presenting information in such persuasive, emotional, visceral sequence, you can not change behavior, but sometimes inspire someone to look at things differently. Whew. If this doesn't get you going, I don't know what will. So, you know, it's, it's meeting the great people. It's um, facing your fears, whatever it is. If you get to do what you love, and if you're in if, if this source of your strength, my goodness, if that doesn't fill your cup of purpose every day, I don't know what will. Yeah, this is hard because you got to enjoy the moment. And if you don't enjoy the moment, what else is there? Absolutely. I drink to that coffee. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right. Now, let's say that you meet somebody that wants to be a professional speaker like you, that are inspired and amazed by what you're doing right now. What advice would you give that person who wants to be in your shoes? Mm, excellent question, Jesse. Uh, you just have to start. You have to be strategic. Ask for help from people who are doing it right now who are, who actually have done it or where you want to go. There is no way you can achieve where you want to go by yourself. You have to, whatever hangups, stories that are not true or may be partially true, you tell yourself, ask for help. Ask to be an associate, a partner, or a mentor-mentee relationship with 
professional speakers that you admire or aspire to grow into? This type of people will inspire you and elevate you. This is where you start. When you spend time with those people, you there's something amazing happens in your brain. You will level, level up and perhaps even exceed uh, your own expectations. Yeah, it feels, That's the first thing. Feels good, man. Feels good. All right. All right. Now, the next, the next question I have for you is, how can more people know about your professional speaking business? Where, where could they go? What, what, what website can they go to? Okay, my the, I, you can just go to LinkedIn or Facebook and just uh, type in the search query my name, Mark Guy G A I Mark M A R K, and send me a you know, request for more information, or you want to have a quick chat on video or on the phone, or you just want to send me an email or talk about your questions, or perhaps you have an event. You need to explore speaking opportunities for you or you're looking for a speaker. Whatever it is, um, I'm very open, I'm very curious about making professional connections with people who are as diverse as they can possibly find because I find that there's strength in diversity. I find that people know something I don't. They know somebody who I don't know. And I think if we are generous in the way we conduct ourselves, in the way so we are staying genuine generous compassionate and curious i feel that we have a chance uh to accelerate our success so reach out be happy to hear from you all right fantastic and i'll put the links below for your facebook and linkedin connection so if That's anyone great. wants to look at look at it look at the description below awesome all right now we're almost at the end of this interview and is there anybody that you See out there that you you would like to give thanks to if you like to give any type of shout out. Toastmasters International family, and I say family, we're not related by blood, but once you join Toastmasters, your character has a chance to blossom. It is designed, it is proven to work. If you are looking to amplify your voice or at least have an audience who will be so grateful to hear from you and you in turn get someone who actually to be heard. It's one of those beautiful things that we look for our entire lives. So my entire Toastmasters family, and that's starting with Toastmasters District 84 in Central and North Florida. Mm -hmm. This is where I live and this is where I started. Also District 48. Um, and 47, that, that covers Florida and Peninsula. That's another district as well. And also many mentors that I have encountered and had a chance to work with. One of my very early mentors is Dr. Diane Longstreet. She is an educator and also a professional speaker uh, in her professional accolades. So she and many, many others have contributed to the way I approach this business. Fantastic. Now, I have one more question for you. There are going to be lots of happy people that are going to look at this video and they're already inspired, they're already amazed by what you're doing right now. If you can offer one solid, strong words of wisdom for the happy people watching this video, what would it be? Take more risks. All right, you got to take more risks because if you don't take any more risks, what else is there? Absolutely. Okay. On behalf of all the happy people in the Oak Zone community, I thank you for this wonderful dynamic interview for the Oak Zone Sunday Morning Chat Series. And this wraps up the interview for the Sunday Morning Chat Series. And if you want more inspiring people, happy people that are making a big difference in the community, like Mark, all you have to do is go to YouTube, type in my name, Jesse Oakley III, Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and share the plethora of positivity with this video and other videos in the Sunday Morning Chat series. And remember, for more information on Mark Guy, just look at the, just the link in the descriptions below. Until then, happy people, you take care and have a great day. Bye. Thank you.